Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Let me take a little look here. See how things are progressing. They've got this area built up real nice here now. Um, we're going to have to find our our fled Frenchstone tamper and tamp this down. Uh, pack it down a little bit. Actually, a real good rain on it would help pack it down. But if we're ever going to drive on this, it's going to have to be packed a bit. That's looking real good there. <clears throat> I think what we're eventually going to do, uh, we'll cement this little area here in, this train ditch here, we'll cement that in, and we'll make an actual uh, ramp right there, a cement ramp. Uh, what we may do is build a little enclosure right here uh, for a scale, and we might not. Uh, the uh, Perina has their own scales, and that's what they're going to go by when they bring their scales, but I would like to double check. And for any leech on size that we sell, it would be nice just to have a little fenced ramp here. Uh, and have the scale right there and have them the pigs uh, ran into a little area there and kept there while we weigh them. This is the progress on this pen. Doesn't look like they got a lot done today. see this is kind of what we're dealing with here we've had these pretty uh, substantial rains every day uh, for the last well let's see three days out of five we had some pretty heavy rains in the last week and then a couple weeks before that nothing and then substantial rains every day for like a week before that but as you can see I don't know maybe you can't see on the video but I can clearly see that that soil right there is dry so a foot down from the surface and it's dry. It is just dry soil, even with all the rain we've had. And I think that's why it's taken so long and why it will take so long for the water table to come up here because the water just runs off of this clay rather than soaking into it. So basically how it's going to work out, I don't know, maybe I can get a get a good idea of the slope here. So far, uh, and Tata and I have to get something figured out here. Uh, he has the feeder set on this side, and I thought the pool was going to be set on this side. But he has the feeder set on this side, and then the pool uh, is going to be on this side. And so the way Tata is envisioning it, you know, you'll come down the central walkway of that one and feed the pigs. But I guess the way he's thinking it is that to feed the rest of the feeder pigs here, the fattening pigs, you'll come back out and then feed them along this way. Walk along here in the dirt and amongst the banana trees and feed them. Uh, I've got to get it figured out on this because uh, I had a conversation with Maricel about it last night, and I thought we had this figured out, but um, the consensus was is that Tatai was just wanting to do it his way, and I hate to tell Tatai, we're going to do it my way. Uh, I, don't want, I don't want the feeder on this side, I want the pool on this side, and I want the feeder on this side so that there's easy access to the... Uh, walkway in the middle so that we can feed everybody without having to go back outside the pen and feed everyone again. But the slope here, uh, if we go down two feet there, uh, by the time we get over here we're probably going to be at about one foot. So the, the plan here is to go down two feet and then block it up another foot for the one meter depth. And so what will probably happen over on this side is we're only going to dig down about one foot 
uh, and there will be a two foot uh, block wall on this side to get the three feet depth. But we'll get that figured out as we go. All right, Tata and I have been talking here, talking each other into stuff. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, Tata had the idea, because uh, he, he, he was going to put the pool here uh, three feet wide. Those are the two stakes for it. And where's the other stake? I think he pulled it out already. Uh, but up about... Uh, eight feet here so it was going to be three feet wide and eight feet long and he was going to put the feeder over there which i didn't like so then we started talking about uh well why not put the feeder here where i wanted it uh so that it's easy access for you know to go from one end of this what it, of what is eventually going to be a fattening barn uh, with a wheelbarrow just right just going it all the way down so I told him well why don't we just put the you come out eight feet and that leaves us another uh, eight or ten feet here for the feeder and then we were thinking it may not might not be quite enough because we're figuring 10 to 15 uh, fattening pigs in this pen so what we compromised on is that he'll leave the the uh, the pool here but we're going to make it a foot, a foot and a half wider, but uh, three feet shorter. So we'll have an additional three feet of feeder here, which will be enough. That'll give us uh, 14 feet or so, uh, 10 feet, even 10 feet will be enough for 15 hogs to eat at. So uh, we're just going to, we're going to do it like we're going to, we're compromising here. So we're going to have the feeder and the pool on the same side. Uh, Tatai wanted it on this side for easy draining because the, the drain's going to be there. And he didn't want it on that side because it, it is a... We're going to have to open trench this and the drain on that pool uh, is going to drain off this way. So uh, he, he did have a point there that if we put the pool on that side it would be harder to drain. And that's why he wanted it on this side. Uh, I wanted the feeder on this side so that it would be easy to feed. So we've compromised, put our heads together and figured this out. So we're going to put them both on this side. Uh, but we're going to make the pool more square. Uh, that will also allow the pigs to be able to wallow uh, a, little bit, a little bit easier because they're going to be big pigs. So we'll have like a four and a half foot square uh, pool. As, a ver as opposed to a 3x8 or 3x9 one and we'll have the long feeder along here as well so uh, uh, everybody's happy I'm happy and Top Ties happy so that's the progress today and what we've got figured out this will eventually be because they need room to run the wheelbarrow here everything that they're digging out because I, I was uh, adamant that they not throw the dirt this way because that's what they were doing in the beginning. They were, they'd started digging here and they were just throwing the dirt over here and I got a little fussy with them, a little bit of an attitude. I said, we're not moving this dirt twice because if you pile it up over here, this is where the next pin's going, then we've got to move it again and get rid of it. So as we go, they're filling up the wheelbarrow and taking it out of here so we don't have to move it again. And that's what they're putting that that's what they're using for fill up there on the front of the pen but in order to facilitate that they've had to leave this a little bit wider so that they can walk back and forth with the wheelbarrow uh, when we're almost finished uh, with the dimensions of this pen they'll take out another foot here on this side and finish this up so what it's going to be uh, we're going to have about a foot uh, one, one hollow block on this side uh, built up and probably two hollow blocks on that side. Uh, it's keeping us from having to dig down quite so deep. There's a pretty good slope here uh, from my left to my right and it'll probably be pretty much the same on that next pin over there. So that's our progress today. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.